Milani sent over their Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. So let's give it a try. Now y'all know I'm a huge Milani fan, so I hope this doesn't let me down. Side note, let's appreciate the uh, Candy Lover Phantasma t-shirt. Did you get yours? This is a blur out powder, so I wanna see maximum blur. Um, Never seen something like this before. So has to pull it. Okay. That's cool. I do have concealer on, it's fresh, it's ready to set, so let's set it. So you just press down into that. I like that, and I feel like I love this concept much, much more than just opening a jar and there's just powder everywhere because it goes everywhere. So let me look up and just really start stamping this in. I do try my best to push out any premature wrinkling or creasing if possible, just to get it as smooth as I can. Okay, first thoughts. Let's compare this side with no powder whatsoever to this side. You can see definitely the hollow of my eye peeking through a little bit over here, whereas this side is definitely noticeably less. Also, you can definitely tell where you can see a little bit of the texture underneath my eye. Over here, you definitely see virtually none. Like, look at that, let's get right up there. Do you ever see people get this close to a camera? I think not. Now, what's most important is, does this powder work? Yes, I showed you in real time on both eyes. It absolutely blurs, smoothens, it mattifies my under eyes. It looks very, very good. And like I said, in person, it looks even better. I have one and only one complaint. That is the shade. So it's marked as 01 translucent, but most translucent powders are white. This one is not white. This is definitely like a vanilla. So it really actually, as you can kind of tell between here and here, it darkened my under eyes and kind of made it almost orangey. Whereas I like a brighter, more white, almost lavender under eye. So this is kind of the opposite color that I would want end result wise. So I don't love that. I probably won't use this again for that reason alone, but if this is a shade that works for you, I really, really think you'll like it. Overall, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10, just because of the color is not really translucent. But other than that, I really loved everything about it.